Hello everybody, my name is King Line, and welcome to my 1 to 99 fire making guide. Now fire making is a very chill and easy skill to max within a reasonable amount of time. Plus, you can actually net a pretty decent profit from this. We do have a couple of different methods we can choose from, but we're going to talk about which one might be best for you. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Recommended items. Now a tinderbox is an absolute must for fire making. If you've ever done it before in the past, which I'm sure you have, you definitely need it to light fires. You're going to be using this from level 1 to 99, so get comfortable with it. But to do this minigame, you will need the warm clothing. Here's a long list of items that can give you this effect, but the most common one would have to be the clue hunter outfit. This is relatively easy to get and doesn't really have any requirements to get or to even use. The only exception would have to be the helmet. You do need a nature rune for this, however the rest you just need a spade to get. I will leave a link in the description because to get all of the pieces of armor it is located in several different parts of the map, so make sure to go check the description for the locations and the requirements of what you'll need for it. Now another great thing that most people go for eventually once they start to do winter tot is going to have to be gaining the pyromancer outfit. Now unfortunately this is a more luck of the draw and RNG based, but this is a warm clothing worn by players participating for the winter tot minigame. Now, it does consist of five pieces, the hood, the top, the legs, the gloves, and the boots. Now, the Pyromancer outfit does give you a 2.5% XP boost when training fire making outside of the Wintertop minigame. However, if you are playing the Wintertop minigame, you gain a 0.5% XP boost when training fire making. Locations. Location 1 would have to be the Grand Exchange. This is by far the best location to be burning logs at. I would recommend if you're going from 1 to 99 with the burning logs, this is the spot to do it. The only reason why I'm recommending this location is because you're literally not wasting a single tile. What I mean by this is that by the time you're done burning your whole inventory of logs, you're not even having to click one extra tile away to access the bank and then reset your spot. It's all relatively close and you're also at the Grand Exchange. So it definitely works out if you're a normal person or even just an Iron Man in general. Location number two is going to have to be Winter Tot. Now this can be quite the journey to get to if you don't have the proper teleports. Most Iron Man are going to struggle to get here, or at least it'd be more of a nuisance to get there. However, there are several ways to access this location. The best way to get there would have to be the game's necklace. This takes you literally right to the front doors. The second best way would have to be fairy teleports. The code to teleport here is CIS. You run a little bit north of the Tele location, and you're right there. The third and the most tedious way to get there is going to have to be taking it from Port Serum, speaking to Veos then running along this path to get to Wintertop. Either way, this is a safe path, but to access Wintertop, you do have to have a fire making of level 50. This is a requirement. For the standard method slash logs method, from level one to 15, we will be burning logs. You can expect a loss of around 3K here, and the XP per hour is around 59K. The amount needed for completion is 61. From level 15 to 30, we will be burning oak logs. You can expect a loss of around 10k here, and the XP per hour is around 74k. Amount needed for completion is 183. From level 30 to 45, we will be burning willow logs. You can expect a loss of around 16k here, and the XP per hour is 130k. Amount needed for completion is 535. From level 45 to 60, we will be burning maple logs. You can expect a loss of around 20k here, and the XP per hour is 200k. Amount needed for completion is 1,537. From level 60 to 75, we will be burning U logs. You can expect a loss of around 1.4 mil, and the XP per hour is 300k. Amount needed for completion is 4,626. From level 75 to 90, we will be burning magic logs. You can expect a loss of around 13.5 mil, so a little steep, but you can get XP per hour around 450k. Amount needed for completion is 13,614. From level 90 to 99, we will be burning redwood logs. You can expect a loss of around 9.3 mil, and the XP per hour is around 520k. Amount needed for completion is 21,966. From level 50 to 99, we will want to be doing winter tot. You can make a pretty decent profit doing this, somewhere in the ballpark of around 10 mil depending on your RNG and your luck. 
The only thing that I would recommend is at least 20 construction and 15 fletching to help improve your times and get more points. The items needed for Winter Tot would have to be warm clothes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the beginning of this video, I briefly go over it. Next up is going to have to be the highest tier axe available to you, a tinderbox, a hammer, and definitely some food. Just a forewarning, this is not a safe death, especially for hardcore Iron Man. I want to give you that notice up front. The home world for Winter Tot is 307. It's much better to do this in mass, but you can do it solo. As a high level overview, I'm going to strongly recommend you using Runelite plugins. Once you enter the minigame, you will want to run either to the left or the right, they're the exact same side. You will see a branch right in this location. You will want to cut as many logs as you possibly can for your inventory. The brazier is located north of the tree branch. If you have to light the brazier, it will grant you 25 points for doing so. Once you have as many logs as you can inside your inventory, use it on the brazier and it will grant you 10 points for every log. Whereas if you cut the logs, with the knife and cut them into kindling, use it on the fire, it will then give you 25 points instead of 10 points for the normal logs. So as far as the faster method goes, you can expect a loss of around 23.4 mil, so a little steep for fire making. As far as the time for completion, it should be around 33 hours depending on how fast or slow you are. As far as the recommended method goes, you will actually gain a profit of around 10-ish mil and the time for completion is around 50 hours. So yes, you are spending a little bit more time there, but it is a lot less click intensive and also you do gain a very nice profit. Well, congratulations everyone. Hopefully you have all hit 99 with this guide. I do plan on making a guide for every single skill in the future, but make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell notification to get notified when I post a new video. But with that being said, happy scaping, ciao.